Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the configuration settings for the Excel plugin. Once you've downloaded the plugin, you'll open a blank Excel spreadsheet. At the top, in the ribbon, you will see the Do Forms plugin here, and you'll click Connect. It's going to ask you for your account name, your username, and your password. The username and password are going to be the login credentials you use when logging into the Do Forms website. Once you've entered those in, you'll click Connect. It will then provide you with the list of projects and forms from your account, and you'll choose which project and which form you'd like to sync. Then you'll click OK, and the configuration settings will display. This is user preference, so this is really about how you want to pull your data and which fields specifically to pull. There's several options. You can use question captions or the question data names. You can always populate default values regardless of skip and relevance logic within the form. When syncing, it will add new records to the top of the worksheet. This is a default. You can uncheck this and it will add them at the bottom. You can also choose how you display the data from choose one and select multiples. Either you can choose to display the data as it is represented to the mobile user or the underlying value if it's different. You can also choose all selections in one column or display selections in multiple columns. Here in the data fields to synchronize, this is the field list that is available within your form and it will by default have all of them checked. If you want to customize this, you merely uncheck all and select the fields that you want to pull over. For this example, I'm just going to pull a couple fields, name, street, city, state, and zip code. There's also an option to expand repeatables. By default, it's set to do not expand, but you can change this to expand so that each level is a new row or expand that so only the first level is a new row. Once you've set these settings, you'll click Done, and now you're ready to synchronize. These settings can be changed at any time before your first synchronization. Once you've synchronized, the settings are set and cannot be changed. You would need to open a new spreadsheet and create a new settings configuration if you wanted something changed. Now I'm going to click synchronize and it's going to pull the fields that I selected as well as the records for each of those fields from the view data web portal. Here we have the field names we chose to pull over and the records for each one. So record one is here, record two is here, record three is here, record four is here. So under each column is the data for those fields for each record. And that is how you use the Excel plugin. Thank you for your time.